35-year-old Carrie Field has just 14,000 seats, too few according to the William & Mary Athletic Department to keep the school competitive in Division 1A, the big leagues of college football. To attract quality opponents and recruits, the Board of Visitors wants to renovate the stadium and expand it to 30,600 seats. But most of the student body and faculty, according to a local survey, don't like the $2.4 million plan. To prove it, student leaders called for a boycott of classes today and claimed that 75% of the school's 4,500 undergraduates took part in it. An economics class of 300 had 15 in attendance. 80% of tests were reportedly canceled. A university spokesman disputed the 75% participation figure, but admitted the boycott was effective. The students also held an afternoon press conference to spell out their position. I want to emphasize that we are not anti-football, we are not anti-athletics, and also we are not anti-renovation of Cary Field. Renovation of Cary Field is an accepted, an accepted fact uh, it needs to be done, and I hope the sooner it's done, the better. What Lacey and the others don't care for is the expansion. They say it will rob William and Mary of donations that would normally have gone into academics. The students and faculty have allies in the community. Glenn Schivel is spokesman for a group of Williamsburg residents opposed to the expansion. He says the new Cary Field would be an eyesore and cause numerous traffic and parking problems. We know the proclivity of football fans do not want to walk any distance to the stadium, so they won't park in the remote parking areas. So what do we have? They'll be on city streets, in driveways, in, uh, on front lawns, and so forth. And this has happened in Williamsburg with our 15,000 capacity stadium. What would it be like with 30,000? Shivel says he never misses a William & Mary football game and will continue to go whether the team plays Division III Madison or Division I Notre Dame. He wishes the Board of Visitors would have the same attitude. Joel Rubin, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Williamsburg.